minutes and it could have been uh, narrower uh, we've had people yeah. bring the same uh, uh, siege list everyone same syndicate and then same guerrilla tactics there uh, we only had what four monster players uh, two deck types and yeah, i think I'd, I'd only a couple of an r but it's still okay the code yeah, seems even to with be like less yeah, even with less players, there seems to be more deck diversity than the qualifiers that I remember from last year. Yeah, so that's nice. And top 32 next weekend should be even spicier with the extended player yeah. pool. But okay, let's go into this game. As uh, usual, some of the like good tag cards have uh, been uh, spent in round one already because there are like a couple of them and you cannot really carry every card into the round three <laughs> you have to play, sadly you you need tags but you also need to win a round yeah I, you, you could pass it 10 cards if you want but well, that's probably the, this not is very the, advisable this is better better gwent a, a lot of people <laughs> don't, are not aware about that being actually <laughs> the strategy yeah. 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 Did, did you say beta or did you say better because uh, it could depend on who you're talking to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's, we have different spenders coming down, street urchins on the side of Nick, able to boost themselves up without requiring opponent units. Um, Bloody Good Friends is potentially sort of less great of a spender, especially if there aren't boosted uh, opposing units, since then you're only giving bleeding, it's a lot slower to resolve. Oh yes. yes. That's that's one way, way to deny your opponent a spender, by the way. So all this syndicate meta is uh, like uh, revolving around pulling the strings by the by the looks of it. Do you roll it? Do you not roll it? Yeah. Uh, denying taxes. Uh, yeah. Very nice. Or you could just be Myanmar and take off the books, but. For in this kind of mirror, particularly, yeah, whoever can hit uh, pulling the strings from their shady vendor will be a huge advantage since both decks are built around that crime. Yep, so I wonder how community will react to this. Oh, co uh, Pirate Skull finally playable, but uh, one card in particular seems very good. Will it uh, be touched or will it not? I don't know. People tend to overreact occasionally, but the fact that it's yeah available from Shady Vendor is uh, yeah just making things like awkward. It, yeah. How about this one? Huh? Okay, no pulling the strings here, but you can get an open sesame for a bit of carryover. Probably the best play out of this hand. Oh. Okay, so. Uh, no. I, I think that might have over profited. I only loot corpses, except sometimes they're quite fresh. So is Lero just preparing to Junior? Or is it just uh, Furco? Hmm. It might be Furco as well. Yeah, and that's the thing. Now that Nick controls both the bloody good friends, um, Nick definitely has the advantage in terms of tags. There's uh, five games now for Nick, whereas Lyrio is only sitting at, uh, well, two, now three, with the Sea Jackal coming out to play. Um, does need to respond with the only to charge in kind, otherwise Nick would just run away with the lead. Okay, so it is a fair call for uh, Steel, and I guess... Uh... You, you do want to deny something, no, no reason to to steal something that there is two of on the board. No. And I mean, you only had three, or oh, four, yeah, no, sorry, uh, four gangs at that point, so that was also the highest stealable unit, I believe, too. Yeah. Now Leo has six gangs, if we were to see the little bird coming down. In the following oh, turn, oh, could be quite wait. Powerful. Is it Lerio hitting a BM? 
that's something new. I don't, I don't remember seeing Lerio using the emote wheel. <laughs> so maybe it's just a reaction to all this ping pong. Yeah. Okay. But uh, re cool. remember this day, guys. Maybe this is probably not the first, but uh, rare instance of Lerio. Today, today will be in the calendar, says uh, Lerio BM day. Uh, so yeah, you still have to play. Uh, poisons were quite uh, good in the mirror, considering everyone mm. is uh, adding failed experiment to their cove uh, by the looks of it. Uh, yeah. It was very influential in Lerio vs. Daurian. Yeah, so see them coming up fairly early here, in, well, early in the scope of the game, but kind of late in the round one here. Basically means Nick can't spend on the Sea Jackal anymore due to the threat of the follow-up poison. Uh, oh. I can definitely just... I mean, these bronzes Nick is very happy, I think, to just toss away. Um, can definitely just keep up, at least for now, quite cheaply. Nice to have many targets for bleeding. Yeah. Although, yeah, yeah. with with the double spender uh, buffed a little bit, uh, the target was always there for like, not not over bleeding a unit. But uh, yeah, cold mirrors is something we haven't witnessed in a while. It seemed to be kind of reliant on yeah. Occasional steal of double tagged unit, uh, but still uh, an, an interesting wood overall. And yeah, with poisons being in play, with uh, people finding the cards, the golds, and then Sigiruvin is just basically a tutor for a couple of bronzes. Uh, what I don't really like is uh, KOB being uh, always uh, pushy, getting into players' hands on the last mulligan. We've seen <laughs> Daurian being uh, a victim of that. Well, being king of beggars, he is, yeah, like a, a very good chooser. I go here, I get here, I give me, <laughs> give me a space here. Very annoying. But uh, when it works, it works. Uh, extra money so no that you can this. land from him is uh, pretty sweet. Okay, so I guess Nick saw a couple of poisons uh, going through already. Doesn't feel like another one is incoming, but uh, well, if Lerio feels like throwing away a bank, would mm. find. Ooh, Nova Guard would be an interesting play here. Which, yeah, this basically signals Nick is definitely going to be bleeding. Which, if you have the Siggy Riven in hand, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, no... No passive points generated, so Nick uh, gets uh, two coins of carryover for the next round. Nero decides to keep bank as a as a tutor for something like uh Sigiruvin. throwing that away without the guaranteed access or like not guaranteed but possible access is uh, problematic so now justice uh, doesn't look too good unless you roll no both both players have justice but uh questionable setups Uh, you go for crown splitter and then you can but uh yeah the the junior is potentially coming nice. down yeah i guess yeah i guess yeah nick still has the furco in deck whereas lirio's was spent in round one uh this is it's like pretty scary for lirio the problem is are you gonna commit your horse and to deal with it also your hand is pretty cold anyways so if you don't commit the horse, then you're probably at least spending bank for something. Okay, goes for the bank. 
Is he going for his little bird? It's uh, at the bottom, so that's uh, kind of expensive. Uh, what did he miss? Novigrad, I guess, was uh, was the prime yeah, target there, being an interactive and see. also getting it down. Okay, a couple of fire swarms in the Salamandra. Salamandra assassin was uh, OP as a role. Mm. So Novigrad, and belt provisions is still being added to the to the deck that is interested in tags. And yeah. well, this only provides a random tag, but uh, it hits more often than it doesn't, so mm. interesting. Especially if you play it before your little birds, where you can then choose whatever you're missing. You've done it, no. but there you go. That's now, what, uh, three tags for Nick? So Siggy would only be costing, well, half price? Mm. Just about. Well, less than half, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's uh and like yeah like this is the difference because if this crown splitter was dealt with then nick would have had to hire all the Novigrad to get the justice online to get the uh bgf for the additional tag um so it could have been very different if this uh little bird was dealt with to start with but then again lyra doesn't know the hand well and it's hard to tell really what's ideal yeah. Now you could go for the kill, but that doesn't remove any additional tags. It does get rid of the efficient spender. But yeah, Nick still has a very good setup for this Siggy Reuben. Okay, or or pulling the strings potentially. Yeah, pulling the mutant maker here. I don't know, it uh, feels weird. Like... What would be the reasoning to go for the little bird or the crown splitter? Otherwise, I don't think you're bluffing anything. Yeah, so, un unless you're missing a crown splitter in hand, but then, you know, well, then, then the threat of the Novograde injustice should be there. I mean, if you had well, Furco in hand, you wouldn't choose crown splitter, yeah. right? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, the, the cho choice of crown splitter kind of clearly, I think, signals that uh, things are about to happen with the justice. Yeah, so, I'd agree with you there for sure. Uh, at the same time, like yeah, well, Junior is uh, doing something, clearing the the tags, or at least some of them. Yeah, five five costs Siggy now, but uh, Jacques and Horson being found is quite scary. Could also Furku if they like to just save Jacques for the round three. This is the last play of Nick. Uh, nice gets time. also a cash back from KOB. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, good. provides Lerio with the clean board. Uh, or oh, like you don't have to kill the untagged uh, unit, I yeah. suppose. And bleeds out as well. Almost time. bleeds out. Like this point gap could be even bigger if Nick had spent the leader before the uh, Siggy mm -hmm. to get the large discount. Or then maybe the King of Beggars wouldn't have come out at that point anyways. Maybe uh, yeah, that might, that might have been, I didn't check. Okay, so some categories here for Lerio as well. He's, uh, Only two. Oh, uh, I mean leader is uh, the third one. Okay, yeah. So... The tribute will be lowered, uh, the KOB is already out, so I guess no reason, considering, uh, although, well, yeah, it's uh, it's up for Lerio to do the math on 31 point here. Mm. So what, you'd get collusion and something else? The uh, oldest unit is not uh, shielded, luckily. Yeah, um, yeah, you probably just go BGF collusion and... Oh, probably doing the maths now to see if that's enough. Although, yeah, there are no cut-ups uh, available, yeah, there's, so the there's, damage yeah, doesn't... There's no way collusion without a Tide Cloak would be uh, enough points, right? Well, maybe. Okay, besides that it was enough... Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh... I guess we're doing things exactly to the 
Gute Dort. Yeah, I think. Yeah, if you see this the other way, you would have had more coins now going into the round three, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Navigrat is uh, available and uh, so, some coins. This is, that's three. the Jacques. Yeah. yeah. I think with Jacques found, this should just be game basically. Jacques is by far the best short round gold of anything remaining. So, yeah, Jacques cannot be properly answered. Oh, no. Can it? Nervograd into. If, if Lear leads Nervograd here. This could be kind of funny. With uh, the Nick, double fist tech potentially. Nick has a leader as well, but Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you play Jacques. You you buff it, I don't think you can find Ah okay, you can create some damage. I must from act. justice, yeah. but this plays oh. a gank unit, so oh wait. Okay, that if, seems, if to, be, gets that three seems damage, to be like there is a count speed. Funny. No, nah, no damage there, uh, no. but the chances were pretty low to find the uh, yeah. what's the name of that uh, BJF card, but uh, the other yeah. one. Yeah, the uh, yeah, I know, I know the one you mean. This is like the dwarf thug guy. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, potentially, well, although Nick doesn't really care about the spender having the leader charge uh, anyway, so yeah, doesn't really matter to him. So Jacques is dying, and like you cannot buy, you cannot spend. Uh, well, you can, but. Uh, I guess Lerio is uh, maximizing. <laughs> this is just so sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, nothing you can do. The opponent kept the leader charge, and I don't think the couple of coins that Lerio could have saved would have uh, helped here. Poisons turned out to be too good. But yeah, Lerio. Could have yeah. buffed the experiment, but wasting four coins to just get rid of the poison pack wouldn't be yeah. good enough <laughs> into their army. Interesting. Uh, Gift can struggle in this. Uh, yeah, it's like sort of backdrop, particularly if they don't find the Esco, since you know the Call of the Forest can't shoot at the Esco. Uh, what is Eskel doing when your entire deck is uh, facing elves and you're playing elves yourself? Oh, yeah. you're, so you're you, you can control. kill the scholars, but yeah, I guess uh, just uh, Do you... don't play Eskel. Is, then, is like, there a human? Well, the scholars are there. They are landing as what? I think yeah. seven, so eight. Eskel eight Peak. probably. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Uh, it's not, and I'm not even sure what are you doing against the boxes here. The cargo is set, and you no. need to, you need to you, kill things immediately. Your only sort of saving grace is to try and get like a big Trian and then use a pond keeper. But or may, maybe you can play out like a tempest and then combo with a rebuke somehow. But you know the opponent actually no, that can work. Ah, uh, but it's. But they would kind of need to already be on board, and that's the thing. Angus down here, he can't answer this. Valeria. Uh, okay, yeah, this uh, this does it. Okay, I guess sure, Simus will do it. Curious about the choice of rebuke rather than like a double circle of life there. Wait, it was there in the deck. Well, yeah, I didn't pay atten enough attention to the mulligans, but uh, that was done before with seamless rebuke sometimes. But uh, well, now now there is Vanadine. Okay, because at least at least if you used the double uh, circle of life. At this point, you could then go maybe for the uh, Tempest, putting uh, Fog onto both rows. Then a rebuke from Falv would be able to clean up the Vanadane in the following turn. Yes, the Vanadane will get replayed once, but 
but at least then Nick wouldn't be able to use the sappers to replay the Van Dane additional times. Whereas I really don't know what you do now. You can maybe, okay, buff the tree ant, set up your pond keeper. I guess it achieves something equivalent, yeah, really. I, I guess uh, that's the only yeah, way because uh, Nick's hand yeah. is uh, with a double purify at the moment. I don't think you can do anything else. Uh, so the issue is, is there a toll punish? Not really, besides the serpent. Tis my no. I was born. Ah, okay. Yeah, this yes. also achieves yes. the same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That is a line later of finds, so maybe we but... <laughs> overestimated uh, the lack of answers. So can you play damage? Yeah, you can. And uh... so yes, you Next. see one way lay being used to knock this treant from six power down to three. Which you're like, why is this elf player playing waylays from hand? Don't don't they know you're meant to save it? <laughs> Well, the Vanadane would have been killed if that didn't happen by the Pond Keeper this turn instead of this Tempest coming out. So by playing like this, you're able to replay the Vanadane and get two more Waylays. You basically spend a Waylay to get two more. But yeah, interesting lines. Uh, well, uh, since you need to answer Angus, uh, Vanadine, yeah, Lerio is working on that. Uh, doesn't go for the for the line with the circles that you mentioned and doesn't yeah. buff for the end who troll you will be losing some of that value but you're so far ahead that i think you could have allowed yourself to yeah waste a couple of points now mm. uh by the way the second so uh, purify got mulligan, so I guess uh, Nick yeah. is not really playing to, to create an infinite amount of waylays. Uh, I think no. 5 uh, plus 2 in hand uh, will suffice. I, I think Nick uh, is basically thinking if I play this purify onto the Van Dane yeah. and replay, I don't have enough points to catch up. Yeah, Without, you. well, you have seamless, yeah. okay? <laughs> Okay, yes. <laughs> yes. What's wrong with spending like uh, yes. everything you work think, towards there? I think, yeah, Leo should win on even here. Uh, and then, like, yes, it's bad that this Van and Dane got so many replays and whatnot, but with a win on even, if you are able to bleed out this seamless Waylay combo, then you're in a not terrible spot here for Symbiosis. Uh, uh, yeah, but you do you... need to get that seamless out. If you don't get the seamless, you will lose the short round 100%. Yeah. And at least Angus was not allowed to be replayed. Like, uh, yeah. Otherwise, the short round just improves tremendously for elves with uh, like five, six point power mm -hmm. the dice. Uh, now they're at four and they're still a formidable opponent. Yeah, Your short nice. round is also bad uh, or worse without the seamless, but I guess that seamless would have always yeah. uh, used for the push purposes anyway. Yeah, now, now the question is how do you push? And in particular, I'd say if this heist gets played, uh, how do you kill the things that the heist wants to replay? I mean, what, is it going to be some near fights? I mean, you're never getting through the near fights. There's way too many of them. Yeah. Um, you're not killing Isn't Grim, though. Unless, you, again, you have a big enough tree. Yeah. Okay, so this is foul for into the Spring Equinox, and I get... Ah, uh, no? Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, you, you are playing like, around that by spawning at the end, but instead... Uh, elves also have problems. How are you answering things? Yeah. There is a fledgling. What do you do? Oh well, well you seven. can just pitfall, Try. leap, and hit. <laughs> We've seen Maimon play damage. into the pitfall. He played the Keronte into the pitfall trap. It was a oh. lot of damage. Well, he did it on purpose, <laughs> I suppose, but uh, uh, to, to keep a spender as a finisher, but it's uh, kind of still could have not backfired, but it backfired. <laughs> <laughs> into the Icaronte sinking. I don't know how how do you hit a ship into the wolf trap? Pitfall trap. 
Sure, but all those spikes got to be pretty good at breaking down the wood. So yeah, as you mentioned, neophytes are there, so like the heist is getting something to balance, and uh, neophytes are like uh, rats or cockroaches at first, maybe <laughs> only a couple, but then you have an infestation of neophytes, and they they tr uh, transform and evolve into the tokens. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you just you close your eyes for a second, you open them, the elves are spread everywhere, you're just scared. It's such a neo fright. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, good one. Good one. I was paying <laughs> tribute to you. Uh with the <laughs> with the cast of gifts just works perfect for or square tail faction works perfect for, for the jokes. Yeah. <laughs> So since yeah, you weren't so here, do you do you think uh, Nick uh, will harm a dryad? <laughs> I reckon Nick will harm a dryad. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. That that um, will basically the tribute. So since you weren't here, and I'm not sure if you are <laughs> reaching the boat, uh, even uh, full tilt recognize that uh, you will like this pun. <laughs> Okay, so the Ooh, engines are wait. protected from being uh, oh. trapped. That was lucky, right? That was a five power that died, whereas yeah, the five but... was also five. Well, but uh, at least it's not the fledgling uh, and hammer right? So uh, later, was I mean, a I mean, the, but the the five. The foul well, had symbiosis infusion and vitality. It would have been yeah very poor if that. I had mean, died. since so it wasn't used, difference. then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, where's the Eskel Pathfinder now? Yeah. But you might just ex well, I'm not sure if they also the Eskel, but you just expect maybe <laughs> to scholars not to make the appearance till yeah, that's the thing. If big Mulligan scholars then are uh, in a very sad card. position. Amazing card. Sadly, Eskel should have had the condition of destroying artifacts. Huh? Huh? <laughs> if you don't have any artifacts, destroy an artifact. Think. Bring oh the CDPR my. back. Look, Gift is a perfect example of the deck without the artifact where you use it as yeah. a bit. Okay, there we go. And, and, and witches use bombs? It's basically the new bomb key for it's great. Uh, Nick okay. is definitely bombing Lerio's side of the board here. Uh, Dryads never expected uh, a trap like this, so... No. Do you want to trade any more cards? I mean, you can. Uh, okay. The, the yes, gap should, it seems be, to be the should be closed. Like, uh, with Saskia and Gort, uh, Nick... N never can uh, now Good though eh, now it's kind of risky you play a yeah. 8p card so you are at mi minus 28 26 you know that this I mean, is for... not okay this mm. might have been incinerating but yeah, it's I mean, only regardless, a point it, difference it, 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 if you play here, you're committing quite a big card. You'd need to be certain you're getting something good in return, because both these would have to tutor either Saskia for the Vandal or Gord. And otherwise... I... <sighs> Doesn't seem worth it. But yeah. I'm probably wrong in that statement. <laughs> Yeah, it might happen. Maybe later I'll just lure Sneak into Hero Passing and he does the exact calculations. I don't know, but otherwise... No, it's... yeah. Otherwise <laughs> it's not... Did you see the rope ticking down? It's like, you, you can't use either of those tutors into a card which plays another card and it's just... Uh... So... I, I got worried for a second. Yeah. What does 
So still full leader for uh, Nick here. You have the heist with a number of things which is going to be quite difficult to deal with for uh, Lirio here. The Strides Crest is not great. Uh, problem is, if you find the Lambert on the Mulligan, that's yeah, less great. Yeah. I mean, to, the Dryad's Crest, you can still use Saskia for the Dryad. You're probably doing that regardless. You do at least get the Dryad body there. Uh, and yeah, now you know that it's only incinerating trap remaining. Uh, you, you, yeah, you definitely just lead with the Saskia here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Unless you want to feel a Vandrel or Frogs, but probably Saskia open up makes uh, more sense, especially since she might just die later on. Uh, if uh, Elves are uh, swarming, although that probably takes a, a bit longer. What's ours? We shall win back. There's the deception. We'll flip in time for the uh, Isengrim to get value off of it. <coughs> and now this Riordan definitely needs to die this turn. Probably, is it just Council Philavandral trying to find something to deal with the Riordan? Yeah, that sounds like uh, quite a few points saved, considering that uh, yeah. uh, otherwise... Uh, no! But, Thanks, yeah, but you, nice you need... Okay, the, okay, maybe you could do it. You could find... Okay, okay. find Cerebral. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> guess Bomb also was working, right? <laughs> With the... But yeah, this at least has a death blow as a nature. The young Dryad is still alive here. Uh, Nyx has a lot of hidden points here, and Lerio is out of removal Suddenly. now, so... Nick is also without uh, Vernocell, so that's uh, a huge point denial. Yeah. All on the these cargos. Cargos. You, only, you only get two replays from these cargos, though. I'm probably using both on the last turn, I assume, after the uh, deception is flipped. Oh, the, yeah. The trap is flipped. So, yeah, unfortunate uh, for Nick that, uh, well, also quite heads up uh, from Lerio of uh, having the, the opportunities to, to basically play the answers to some of the key cards. Reordain, uh, if, if he lands here from the cargo, that's uh, probably the end. At the moment it still looks like there are some chances for Lirio. Although, yeah, this caress is not looking too hot, uh, even if playing for like 8 points. Yeah. So I kind of wish to bounce... Uh, the Spring Equinox plays for similar to the Isengrim. The Trickster is playing for significantly less than the Gord. We were lost to ones to start um, granted, Isengrim will have cargo used on it in the final turn. No it, it might end up close. The Gord is at uh, full value. The Vitality is a couple of extra points. Yeah. Yeah. By the looks of it, uh, just uh, Ice and Cream would be like if there was no more replay, then sure. But with a replay, <laughs> this is uh, how many elves? Ah, okay. I guess yeah, yeah, I God don't. Enough, yeah. I guess I don't know. Uh, what I'm talking about. The sequencing didn't really matter. Like, oh. Yeah, I think it's equivalent. So you either buff the Isengrim from Plain Elf or... It was also a curve from Blue Queen. Um, the curve actually tempo passed sort of at around five cards in. And uh, Nick had the choice to spend leader to not go two cards down. But uh, opted to go two cards down uh, to retain the leader. I ended up using leader on the horse and junior. 
uh, which, funnily enough, the horse and Junior would have died with the Dathan Arbalest combining with the uh, knife jugglers because it was damaging when it got bleeding. It would have died at four power, but the Junior stayed alive at five power. So then the leader had to be used on the horse and Junior. Uh, so double little birds is probably a bit uh, too much for the opening hand. No mutant makers. Yeah, missing the bronze thinning as well from this hand. The uh, casino bounces being the thinners of choice for this deck. Early curse. Yeah. Who cares about uh, jackal spending and an interrupted? Uh, sometimes getting rid of the categories is uh, much more important, and you still have the heat wave. So yeah, probably just very justified. Uh, how do you go from here? And, uh, yeah, the BGF. I mean, yeah, having the two tags already makes it so that pulling the strings can be used as a very early count if the operator is used, like here in the round one. But no, it's quite limited now for options. You can set up the poison. Never dropped a one. Plenty. So is Nick, uh, no, it's not really playing any spine, I, t I thought maybe they got uh, modified a little bit, but not by the looks of it, it's still the same, as in no informants, so operator is literally to put things into the, into the graveyard later on. Yeah, or see. potentially provide a leader target as well, yeah. okay. such uh, as so. Good call, and yeah, we see immediate <laughs> imposter. Yeah, so it gets the bonded, particularly nice here on the red coin. Um, potentially able to threaten a win on even, and already is putting this uh, knife juggler into the graveyard, potentially putting illusionists online. So, of course, you can save it with a little bird's help. But I don't think Syndicate really has a transform card uh, outside of... And uh, the question arises, and it will be asked, where is the senior? Of course, in, uh, junior... But the question is going to be, where deck. is Cosimo? Yeah, where is Cosimo as well? But uh, senior <laughs> has been played in these types of decks, yes. although... I mean, yeah, Senior was played, I think this was the actual curve uh, pulling the strings was the first deck I ever took to 2600 uh, mm -hmm. at the start of last year. And yeah, that deck was running the horse and Senior. Particularly scary if you use that with pulling the strings, you just didn't let the opponent develop their board at all. But it looks like it's been cut in favor of the um, Nerve Regret and the Justice being mm -hmm. both included in this deck. Okay, so Valerio actually tries to save it uh, for now. Yeah. Yeah, now each bonded card that Nyx plays will have a plus four points associated with it. And they're slowly whittling down any of these uh, kind of little birds that will die in a couple of turns now with this Dathan Arbalist sitting on the board. We see a leader charge, uh, and that's only three tags, so no, yeah. it doesn't help. Ooh. Aikman Arbalist is also, yeah, a lot of uh, damage potential. There could be an argument to effectively just... No, no, giving the round up would be not great. Because, yeah, if you give them first say in, like, the round two, the bandits will just set up way too quickly for you to be able to counter. Okay, so we are uh, seeing Doggo being sent back. I wonder if uh, after being yeah touched, it it comes out almost almost guaranteed almost every time if you are manipulating it. Uh, but uh, it still sometimes stays in the deck, I guess. It's just a game of fetch, basically. Mm -hmm. And now with uh, the juggler killed, uh, well, options are uh, opening up with Mushy Truffle, Slave Driver, please. Uh, to 
this round also another juggler has been found and uh, well you are ahead and you don't really mind uh, playing them from hand because uh, illusionist is just so so much more tempo later on So Lerio is not giving up. But now coins are a bit of a struggle. Maybe ten. Oops, uh, it was nice knowing ya, yeah. Jackal. Uh, uh, yeah, I. this seems like a really tough position to start committing into. And... <laughs> So I think putting the Nova Guard on board is fine because if you want, you can just pass from this round and use the resilience to defend the, from the round two. Uh, but can you the leader as well? Now just gives you that mu much less options for later on. Okay. But listen, listen, leader and also Sigiruven and everything goes. Uh, a yard sale? No. <laughs> But, uh, okay, it does get ahead here. Well, Nick so committed better... his leader, so it's only fair for Lerio I mean, to commit yeah. his. <laughs> yeah. Th so, you don't have coins now. How are you going to keep this little bird spending? How are you going to get enough coinage for your uh, shady vendor? Well, you and have again, all like, categories. Nick, Nick is just... Yeah, Nick, Nick is just playing bronzes and getting like plus six points for each bronze that's played. Just, just seek your ruin, okay? <laughs> okay, first it's, bank, but uh, yeah. just bouncers uh, in some tempo. A couple of tags, but uh, you are all in your tags already. To be fair, Nick is playing uh, Slave Driver. Okay, we are. Pull in another one to your side. Some coins. Do we spend? Do we click Novigrad then? Okay. No. So, saves the coins to be able to play Shady Vendor this time. I think you could have spent once, no? Uh, oh, no, no. Spending once, you wouldn't have been able to use Shady Vendor back row. Now wants to roll up, pulling the strings. Yeah, but as you said, Nick is just playing bronze. Well, the entire deck is uh, built to be playing bronze. Yes. So, but at um, some point, um, if um, Nick's hand is like Ramon, uh, Illusionist, Battle Stations, uh, and it's just yeah. too many bronzes. Could you, sir? Yeah, um, yeah, and maybe slightly disingenuous for me to say Nick is just playing bronzes, since that is the point of these decks this deck basically all the golds here it's just to enable playing more of these bronzes because they just have greater and greater returns the more you play off them uh Lyra misses the pulling the strings mm -hmm. and that very well could just secure a loss on even if these slave drivers just able to keep the pressure up and then do you commit siggy Rufin at that point And yes, Lero was considering clicking uh, the Novigrad, but I don't think that gives you enough separation anyway. So. Yeah, it would make a difference, really, I think. So, quite a nasty round if you are a Syndicate player suffering from bro bronze uh, attack. Yeah. Okay, he goes for uh, Roderick. Well, Betsy all but secures probably the win okay, as he has quite a few engines and he just can restart yeah. it with the Spala and then the Betsy click as well. So. This might be the best Sigiruvin uh, Lerio is about to get in this game. Uh, yeah, maybe you just have to play the Sigi here and then yeah. try and give your temper bleed or something. I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you just go Sigi here, trying yeah. to open a round two very quickly with uh, 
Fokker Justice. But do we even get uh, a hat here? Nick has uh, Betsy click. Nick has six points of uh, Masha Truffle. Only. Perhaps a different ingredient. An active one. So that's 15, but I think it's uh, doable. So you have to spend with the little birds, and that might be the separation. That unit. should be enough. Yeah. I mean, note that the bleeding doesn't get to go through for these uh, knife jugglers. It's basically just strays plus two. And then. Okay, and he only has like two left, so. Fair yeah, enough. it's not gonna be Somehow. enough. Somehow. Yeah, a couple of them got stolen by the pulling the strings. Uh, for some reason, I thought that there is well, enough potential, but that when you are ballistic... Actually, okay. there is the one power illusionist to create another one. There is the six instead of five. Wait. So, uh, wasn't, Nick wasn't taking six uh, better? I have to have done the maths. Yeah, with Truffle, it'll be enough. Ah, okay. Then. But yeah, it, it looked like okay. Uh, Okay, by two points. Yeah, it's actually it's because there was a. It's it's because the illusionist was at one power. If the illusionist was like above one power, then that reset wouldn't have given like the extra three points. Uh. Yeah, it would have been like a tie or something. But now. Fair. I I assume we just pass now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not a bleeding hand for the North God, but uh, uh, that's maybe if, fine. Nah, even if you like take the bank, take Roderick, uh, bank probably. Maybe. Yeah. So you are still getting something, but later just bounces, and he has this Novigrad. Uh, Chilling. Yeah, I mean, Leo should stay ahead here pretty easily, and Nick leading with the um, Vulgar Forts is basically just saying I, I'm not hard contesting here, this is just me playing for value. Mm. At least I think so. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Good luck. Not too much, eh? I mean, this feels strange. Nick is basically just giving up the card advantage for free here, just to get the Vilgefortz through. I suppose 8 tempo plus uh, or you have to keep a bad card in hand is uh, not uh, what he's dreaming of uh, for round mm. 3. Although could have used uh, Vilgefortz after the battle stations, you might draw into uh, can you? Yeah. Everything seems fine. Unless I mean, you just uh, break the decree. Like, Illusionist Spam is sort of the one deck where I don't think teleportation is ever gonna suck. Yeah. Uh, like, unless all your Illusionists are dead, the teleportation should find value. So Nick is definitely looking for, like, Ramon and uh, Soldier in hand. And, well, Ramon, he can just... Uh, Vivaldi bank for illusionist is in hand, uh, so that looks uh, great for Nick uh, in terms of cards found. Uh, can be improved with an access to heat wave. So, yeah, literally says first say you can slap the tunnel drill down. Tunnel drill, horse, and shady vendor. They could get some stuff done. And yeah, no Ramon to start with. Uh, Ramon, well, I mean, you can just bank for it to be fair. Probably but... banking, and there is Royal Decree <laughs> and uh, yeah. Ramon. You just need to be uh, like quite precise with your battle stations, uh, so that you are mm. not uh, accidentally like getting a Royal Decree in your hand after yeah. after all units. Maybe are there's. Under. An... Yeah, maybe it's then with that in mind, it's better to battle stations first. You don't run into that potential problem. I think it'll be about a one in quarter chance or something. No, one so yeah, burn, burns the decree. It doesn't really care about the coins. Although, oh, okay, yeah, you, 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 you can fair. take the illusionist. Uh, 
and to create one of the BJFs, for example. Uh, so, Junior, are you up for the task? You cannot deny everything, though, because uh, well, battle stations kind of do do things on their own volition. Yeah, I'm still. Yeah, although I think here you still just kill the illusionist and uh, uh, tunnel drill the juggler. Yeah. So yeah, even teleportation would be a decent pickup. Uh, things like slave driver, Flerio. If Nick has one point, uh, yes. okay. Yeah. So. No teleportation. And Lerio, to be fair, doesn't have infinite amount of coins here, but uh, no. denying the illusionists should be still possible. Yeah. You should play around, uh, should you? Teleportation as well, like uh, it makes uh, yeah. all the sense in the world to deal with both of them. So I guess you need Jacques for coins. Ah, although, well, you have you have, you have enough already. If we are talking about Junior, insanity click. Yeah. Maybe you should be thinking about getting rid of the juggler as well, as uh, they will be triggered at the, in your prediction, like maximum three times. I don't know. This feels weird. This is, yeah, playing very heavily into teleportation, but maybe just hoping that is the card that is still in deck. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes if you just feel like you're way behind, you just have to play to your outs, like maybe Leo is just saying. I need to just hope teleportation is still in deck for me to have a good chance of making this still. I mean, playing Jacques uh, is bad as you give the heat wave target uh, potentially, mm. like you are keeping the spender here. I mean, yeah, the, the King of Beggars will always come out though when you need a spender at the end. I guess you you can spend a little bit, but then you are you, you are spending the coins a little bit to just prevent KOB dying and uh, maybe this way around. Although I'm not sure yeah. it's optimal points. Uh, like you, you have to jack here basically. Yeah, have I have shitty when there uh, funds. Yeah, you can jack if you want. Spend offensively on the BGF to set up your shady vendor to the coinage that you want for the next uh, turn. Then this heatwave is playing for six. Caravan Vanguard for ah, six. Okay, yeah, he'll be coming later. I kind of. Expected it to come now. So Nick should be putting Lirio on what? Shady Vendor as a best card. Probably. Perko doesn't do anything. If you check it, there is only a poison. Yeah. Is this enough? For Nick, he gets what? 6? 26? Um, there are there are there are tags on the board and like slave driver. Yeah, it's three tags. I mean, pulling the strings would be a sort of a nine point bronze. No, okay, it's not found. Perch. Uh, no double sala. Okay, that's basically worst case scenario. I think those all suck. So I guess you're just getting coins. Our things. And with seven okay, points, that's not close. That's not enough. To be fair, I think pulling the string still would have only been like nine points, and it would have been like four more points. It would have been closer. I don't think it would have been enough. 
Yeah, but either way, Nick uh, played his entire deck and uh, got enough out yeah. of Lerio, so... <laughs> GG's. Oh. Yeah. You can't blame me. Okay, I want nothing to blame for anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, thanks for making it certain that I want. Uh, okay, so Forbidden Magic is pretty good against Neophytes. Of course, there is no Neophytes in Nick's yeah. hand. Uh, early trap means that you can't just say lead the Radovid or Demofen necessarily, because if it was Pitfall Trap, then uh, goodbye to the king. Yeah, so deception is uh, being deceptive here. Yeah. So what's sort of the cheapest thing you'd be willing to throw out here? I mean, you have double siege support. I mean, sure, they wouldn't get a deploy, but then if they did end up living, then, you know, they'd be able to give zeal to something. Though I don't think zeal matters a whole lot in this sort of matchup. It's really like just the Yavin that could kill something that's on the board currently. Uh, but yeah, Lero definitely uses time. Okay, decides to postpone it uh, and for now just goes for... Yeah. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, Bidipo was there. This Elefanto. Actually, to be fair, with, with the temple existing, there's no way Nick would actually lead with the pitfall trap. Well, yeah. That's... That would be a very bad play. Well, yeah. Interesting okay. pulls. Philippa can be a bit parallel potentially. Do we. Is this just immediate? Uh. Well, uh, why Kenji not? Anne says this because uh, that seems risky. Yeah, so Philippa definitely sounds like a more reasonable choice. Like, sure, you 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 can eat the damage uh, as well. Okay, yeah. there we go. Okay, I like it. Good call. You should be playing as well, Lemon. <laughs> the, the qualities are just calling for you. Of course, we, get, uh, we, we will lose a uh, great pastor, but... Uh... You see, it's a lot easier to make good decisions when you can see both the hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, so you can always yeah. uh, just go for Vanadine. Oh, do you have Vanadine? You typically go oh, Reorder yeah, yeah, to the then Reorder play the Vanadine and, from the Reorder. Uh, and then so they have two leader. things to do with the yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is the leader as well. Because yeah. then this again gives you the similar problem with the Ansei, so that if, say, you play this... Okay, it's Serpent Trap. Uh, I was going to say, because if it then was Pitfall along with the Vanadine, if you try to play the Ansei to answer the Vanadine, then the Ansei could just get killed by the random damage. Join us instead and defend the valley. So now it kind of depends how much respect does Lirio give. Uh. Well, you cannot I mean, really go no for the Ansees, right? No, actually the, the heist isn't played yet as well, to be fair. So yeah. maybe there's no rush. And that's also probably why Nick didn't go for the, I guess, quote unquote standard to play with the pitfall. Could have also maybe done the lesser commit with the incinerating trap to also stop that. But yeah, I don't think the Van Dane is that scary here since the heist hasn't been played yet. Uh, yeah. Leo would just much prefer to just play something to trigger this trap if need be. Has already scouted this trap. Okay. Yeah, but uh, all scouts ha have died. <laughs> so you need to yeah. start a new. Uh, all your temple carryover is still in deck, two cards, but uh, the points carry over from it is yeah. uh, so nowhere to be this, found. This, this would be perfect time to develop Radovid, but <laughs> you're down 30 points. I don't think you have... Well, you the... you can c catch up probably with them event leader charges. Uh, yeah. And to be but, fair, he can yeah. do that in three cards. I demand 
Hey, I still not sure. Like the boxes are not. Yeah, here. With, with with no high star, I don't think that was force. And now, yeah. And now you are still not doing it cheaply. Eh? Yeah, well, I, my, I don't my, think my that. might as well start with Radovid. Your opponent is passing, and yep. then you're calculating. Like you, you play Radovid I mean, okay. for the for the value anyway. Kind of weird. Yeah, I think like I I understand why you, you don't want to pass there, because then you give your opponent a chance to play highest in the Vanadane, even if they go down maybe to three cards in hand, they still get a number of free plays. But. And, and say, and say still should be good on uh, things like Eisengrim uh, yeah, uh, and Verno later on. Like, sure, you're not uh, having anything to remove with an order or passive ability, but the boxes themselves are very scary. Yeah. Because now this oil and Radovid are under a lot of um, pressure. Still, like, Effective. yeah, you played Radovid now. Is this triple leader? Yeah, this this is not the Tumerian infantry deck, but you still have like vengeance. Uh mm. like giving Ryla. Yeah. Maybe even War Elephant uh, Zeal might have been kinda good. Okay, so Lirio decides War to Elephant kinda legit with revenants, right? Uh, uh, and also now that the Yavin is gone into the graveyard, it should be a lot easier to stick like your Black Railers, your War Elephants and stuff. Uh, your Red of a Judgment, your Rafad's Vengeance. So in a long round, I think this NI is in with a pretty decent shot. There is the Simless, but it's really just the one big play on the Simless, and it's only a four way lay Simless. I like how we say only four waylays, as if yeah. that's a small number. I mean, we've seen like seven, so so what? Yeah, it's okay. Com it's comparatively, only something's gone wrong for elves if they don't get at least four waylays, basically. Okay, so no crazy pushes with the uh, Rafart's engines here, uh, vengeance here, and uh, we still do see the boxes uh, being pulled out. Yes, there is a couple of specials, and elves are kind of out of specials they'd want to play from hand or from the artifact, so... Yeah. Wait. 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 I would assume that uh, Nick just uh, was certain he's not winning this game, okay? Okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. That, sure. Okay, well, we're tied up 2-2 two to two then. That was a very uh, tightly fought game. He, he is a uh, streamer, he is a showman, surely. That was like, oh, I'll, I'll do that, but actually he just counted it. Actually, not on ladder. So, we yeah. can just uh, do another game. So so many explanations. Yeah. Like we don't have to leap to the to the most obvious one of like oh play the Definitely. card past. So there we go. And I would just say hypothetically, if that was a mistake, then your mental is shot going into game five. Like that's that's not the kind of mental state you want to be in. But since it wasn't a mistake i'm sure nick is doing great and we'll have a very great fight in this uh final game in this match point of the series so curve on blue coin curve to start uh there is a pulling the strings poking out at the left side of lirio's hand there is as well the uh bloody good friends to lead uh, maybe a bit risky playing into serpent trap which is why we see the casino bounces coming down to start with. Mm -hmm. So what? Which one do you junior? Uh, Out of two. As which one is your priority to sacrifice to potential junior? I Out feel of... like. I feel like you'd rather just 
if one of them gets played here, you just play the failed experiment in response. Okay. Yeah, well, the boxes are not here once again, and they are not coming as well. Mm. So as as the pre like the, the previous game also in terms of explanation for the commentary you also put yourself into the like opponent's position who expects the boxes to come at some point so yeah, yeah like that, we, we, we've seen that there, there was no access to, to it so but and say it's kind of makes sense if you are playing against it and you're expecting oh you'll still play it I see. But okay, as you suggested, yeah, the failed experiment is down, uh, Vanadine is uh, finishing his job in this game. Yep. So that's one down. Now whenever you see Angus, you can just slam the horse or even wait until the heist gets played. Now maybe you're a bit worried that Angus somehow gets boosted up. I mean, I don't think there's really any uh, way you can, for you can to bounce. Do some you can bounce Isengrim once to put it at 7, but yeah, you'd need to buff it a lot. And then like, erase, also would still kill it. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, erase all the boost <laughs> over the 9. Yeah, kind of a moot point. Yeah, currently two tags on board. So you could use a uh, pulling the strings on one of these near fights if you so wanted. Um, you definitely can't pass at 7 against these elves, because then if they play... Uh, Angus and Highest and replay yeah. it a couple times, you're a bit sad. So you have to give enough respect to play out a little bird here. Got the blind eye tag. Uh, not sure if a little bird with blind eyes would be very good at flying. But, but uh, uh, just, I mean, her, her, her job is literally listening, so you, you can <laughs> good, uh, have good ears and blind, uh, blind eyes. Uh, probably not the best, uh, like. Uh, at following people around in the crowds, yeah. but listening in the crowds when you are placed uh, next to the restaurant, uh, pretty good. That's true. And I mean, look at the Philippa anyway. Only one of us she is yeah. <laughs> blind eyes and uh, leading the what, just, Redanian yeah. uh, secret service and all that uh, with the CD. Yeah, good. They need intelligence at that point. Yeah. Okay, so five tags uh, in. Uh, Angus, yeah. I guess, is traveling uh, to Novigrad. But yeah, pulling this string you mentioned uh, is, is still on Neil. Uh, there's four tags, right? You're missing. Crown Spreaders, cut ups. Ah, wait, You're this is the cut up. Okay, so you'd need to tags. like leader as well. Yeah, but you once again you you are not forced to. So instead you no, can just uh, you can. Okay, is interesting. How bleeding the Angus to four? Like I guess Leto was opening his outs with the leader charge and still. But uh, you also can just keep the put in the string. Maybe Riordan will be the next one for you to interact with but yeah gets out of here the trap was uh what was it serpent i, I kind of, i know gotta say yeah it's, it feels oh, it's quite insane. unlucky here for uh, uh nick not having the highest access in round one in either of these games um, but, yeah maybe should have taken that instead of the uh the uh, what's well, this face? the deck is kind of built like oh, this. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the deck is uh, not sacrificing many points for the Aneromancy. Instead, you are just relying yeah. on uh, access Terrible. to boxes, the card of the Arcane Tome, but you have a rear vein as well. But uh, I mean, well, the yeah, there, there is some blue coin curse scroll, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. But... So from blue, from the coin, the deck sees a lot of play. Uh, with that consistency, you usually can uh, get get there in the end. But uh, we've seen that in the previous game, it wasn't exactly the case. So this is just uh, a serpent trap. Uh, Ask that's that's why we see the click, and uh, I guess the brawler. Well, you, you can look at the tax, but at the same time, Brawler oh. would have been like potential 
reordain and stuff etc but get tight cloak um, useful tank you you still you kept your uh junior yeah, also the yeah like the, also the six profit on the pearl diver in a couple turns is nothing mm. to scoff at either it's pretty good like it's 10 all up especially if you're spending efficiently on those coins so uh, Lerio knows that incinerating is out little bird can land is this okay. just uh Man, this, for this is... justice? Oh. Okay. Goes for the little bird. So I guess uh, if this would have been a serpent, you don't really want to lose double category. Mm. Not just yet. So the, the deception is what? 12, 12 points, right? So... Oh, be ashamed to let this beauty go to waste. Interesting. I'm not sure what the leader achieved there, except to protect against Serpent Trap. Only one with no sense would trust the word. If I'm to die, oh, this is... Yeah, not great for Nick. Uh, you do what you have to do, the gangs, but yeah, there is the... The way that was not late in hand, unfortunate. So you this turn probably... is so sketchy. Yeah, I don't know. You probably won't. Okay, Lerio goes for the perk. But, like, losing eight, uh, six points for no reason would feel so bad. Okay, I was thinking maybe he waits another turn, but... Uh... Okay. Wait, crisis averted for Lerio. Well, what does Nick do with this hand? This scroll is not good. This arcane tome, if you use it to play heist, that's literally your only special. Well, yeah. Apart from verification, verification which, uh, has a target. But, so yeah, but then it's are you really that... gonna give the option to like have pulling the strings? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, speaking of uh, devil, is there even like anything? Yeah, <laughs> everything is the same. You just ah wait, not enough categories. Did, did uh, yeah, there's only three tags. So tide clerks, crown splitters, or oh, two tags. Sorry, maybe it was still the best at four profit, but uh, yeah, I thought there's only three, but yeah, not four for sure. Is that if, is that face is that trap face up for you as well? Yeah, it's how it works. Uh, I think when it, when the traps are tutored, they are ch oh, shown okay. face up. Right. Okay. Yeah. Huh. I guess Lerio was. Uh, not really sacrificing any more cards, uh, trading with the with the likes of uh, squirrels and potential yeah. verifications. So no, now there's no more BGFs. The collusion is a lot harder to set up. You have the uh, ooh, inclusion in hand as well can be a little awkward too. You have the uh, crown split attack on the tunnel drill. And cut up tag on the horse and junior, but that's basically it for those. Um, here is the highest. No, nothing to pull strings on. Is there anything else? Uh, nothing to poison in, as well. In theory, so it's still keep... correct to just play the pulling the strings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, 
either that or fish deck as well. Well, although you do give the verification over since it is in hand. Uh, if it was in deck, then the verification would be not good, but... Well, the, yeah, trap, is, the trap is here, the box is there, so... Uh, do we see the click? Does Lerio care enough? Uh, he knows that the serpent is out, right? Yes, he's yeah. in the graveyard, so he there is the no toll punish, so we can just uh, do whatever you want with the coins and. Does go for that play. So it's two tags right now. Uh, what do you use the horse on? Do you use it on the Yavin, Venosial, Isengrim? I assume you should be able to kill the Yavin or deal with it through a shady vendor, right? Well, Whether you find pulling the strings back row or missing, then you just have to go for either the Stolen Mustions or a Payday. And keep in mind, if Shady Vendor is used back row, the uh, King of Beggars will come out, so then if it does find the pulling the strings, it's basically like a plus one anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, Vernacell is uh, like potentially the removal of your tags. Mm. I guess. Uh, but Yavin is like a di directional one. Yeah. But you can do Yavin is the easiest to deal with with yeah. like leader, yeah, yeah, blind guy. So I guess Vernacell just dies. Uh... There's uh, no way that uh, uh, Jacques dies, or there's no real top punish for him remaining. So you don't need to worry about spending at the end of the previous turn. Yeah, yeah goodbye, Horson. So there goes the cut-up tag. I don't think there's any way for the cut-up tag to be achieved by Lyra in the rest of this game. Unless maybe a front row shitty vendor, even tide plunder create. Yeah, but at the moment three tags only. So your only way... Uh, well, yeah, the blind eye is the fourth as you mentioned. So I guess you go yeah. back row and try to answer that. Like, sure, Eisengrim will come out, but he doesn't have the yeah, entire but, army anymore. Yeah. Uh, there's also the question of whether um, the yeah the lines are noticed. Okay, there, 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 there is, is the pulling the strings. Is it chosen? Yeah, four damage not, was fine. also there. Did they miss something? I mean, the, I mean, the four damage is strictly worse. No. Uh, maybe that, that, that's Lerio forgot about, uh, not forgot, but didn't count the KOB that you mentioned. Uh, I would assume yeah. that interaction works, right? Or does it? Show? Yeah, I mean, I well, well the card is hovering as the King of Beggars comes out. It, it should, I'm 99% sure it works okay. that way. But it's such a big difference because, like, that's a six point difference. You could have had two more coins in the bank, so that's more like a seven point difference. Uh, Now this uh, Isengrim needs to die somehow. Uh, it's really, you need a, it's, I guess, sort of... Okay, you can go for Bank into Siggy, play the Tunnel Drill... Oh uh, no, that wouldn't do it. You can't do Tunnel Drill inclusion in the same turn. Yeah, no, this uh, Isengrim just gets replayed Why? so you can float the Tunnel Drill this turn and kill it the following. Yeah. Yeah. Long enough. Not sure bit. how yeah, how much of a problem and that Isengrim is considered the point gap. Uh, this is also not really an ideal trap value, but like for, for the removal potential, yeah, it's timed perfectly. Collusion is what a nine provision card, so. Why not everyone is playing Golden Acre Syndicate? I wouldn't know, but Lerio <laughs> decides that it's just not worth it to take uh, 5 extra damage. And uh, I can kill a couple of uh, elves anyway. 
I'm yeah, so that's, it's and probably still worth more playing the collusion first, I think. Or is it, I mean, you take five more damage, but you deny the Isengrim. I guess boosting five elves, maybe it's kind of, it's, I think it's the same, basically. And yeah. Yeah. Here we go. So, Lyria was close to to be out, I think, but in the end, yeah. it didn't even matter. No. Very good series, though. Went all the way. Um, quite a few interesting games, interesting lines that were taken. Yeah, uh, but uh, for me, yeah, I don't think the elves really lived up to the expectations. Might have to give up, maybe put the elf back on the shelf. Yeah, the Squirtle mirror happened in this series, so give 